The counting of votes for the state assembly elections in India is underway in the states of Haryana and Maharashtra. As per the trend so far, the incumbent BJP is leading in Maharashtra while it's a neck and neck fight between the Congress and the BJP in Haryana. As the Congress party surges in Haryana, party leader and former Chief Minister Bhupinder Singh Huda says that he is confident of a majority. Going by the sources, even JJP is keen to support the Congress party in Haryana. It would be correct to say that Haryana can go the Karnataka way. Today, Haryana will change. Haryana will go to the path of the path of the path. Haryana will be a new path of the path. And I can say this with this faith, that Haryana Pradesh will be a new path of the 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 path. Meanwhile, in Maharashtra, early trends have shown a smooth victory for the BJP Shiv Sena Alliance. Union Minister Prakash Javadekar has already claimed victory not only in Haryana and Maharashtra, but said that the BJP will also win in the upcoming Delhi and Jharkhand Assembly elections. People have reposed faith in BJP and uh, its alliance because uh, of good work done at state level and charismatic leadership of Narendra Modi ji because they want good change to happen, take place in this country. They want to... If the party comes back to power. Now, these are also the first polls after the Prime Minister Modi led BJP government abrogated Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. Meanwhile, the polls are extremely crucial for the Congress party, which is seeking an electoral revival after being hit by poor results in the general elections and a series of defections after those elections. The results show that the Congress party has bounced back in Haryana and old Congress leaders have done better than young leaders appointed by former Congress President Rahul Gandhi. It also indicates that Sonia Gandhi will continue as Congress party president longer and the old guard will have more say in the party system from here on. Point to be noted is that Rahul Gandhi has not campaigned well in both the states and Sonia was virtually absent. It also proves the point that Congress party can fight elections without the Gandhis. Away from the Indian elections, Malaysia has said that it is working to resolve a spat with Indian traders who boycotted the country's palm oil exports over Prime Minister of Malaysia, Mahathir Mohammed's stance on Kashmir. The Malaysian Trade Minister said that uh, he hoped that the boycott will not affect the 16-nation trade pact, which includes India. The agreement is scheduled to sign in November. India and Malaysia's ties hit rock bottom after Mahathir Mohammed told the United Nations General Assembly last month that India had, quote-unquote, invaded Kashmir. This after India ended Kashmir's special status Remember, India has made it clear that Kashmir is its internal matter. The boycott began after a top Indian vegetable oil body said that it would avoid purchases from Malaysia in solidarity with the nation. The boycott has deeply hit Malaysian palm oil industry. This as Malaysia is, is the world's second largest producer as well as exporter of palm oil. India was Malaysia's third largest importer of vegetable oil. The boycott will likely benefit Indonesia, which is the largest palm oil seller in the world. Malaysia feels that the ongoing standoff can also impact the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership or RCEP. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has said that the Indian traders' actions amounted to a trade war. This even as Mahathir refused to change his stance on Kashmir. Meanwhile, New Delhi has distanced itself from the matter, saying that it has no view on the route.